Fashion designer Lerato Huma says her medical condition for a dream job after being diagnosed with a kidney failure in 2013. Huma did not wallow in self-pity, but instead she thought of a career that would allow her to empower herself while she nursed her condition at home. Huma says studying fashion design liberated her. As a plus-size woman, Huma says she always battled to find clothes that spoke to her style in shops. She now designs clothes for women in facing similar situations. Lerato joins us in studio to talk about fashion trends and how she has made women feel good about themselves. Hi, Lerato. Thank you so much for joining us on Afro World View. Thank you, Siba, for having me. Now, Lerato, I couldn't help but, you know, see at the end they said with because um, of, as we spoke also earlier on, that because of this condition that you're diagnosed with, um, you decided to venture out on your own and become, you know, your own boss and entrepreneur. Can you tell us more about, you know, from the time you were sick uh, and your journey towards becoming your own, uh, you know, designer and your own, your own, your own brand? Um, after working for various uh, fashion houses and interning, I felt like it was about time for me to venture out on my own because there was a market that I felt people were not tapping into, a large market that was being ignored. Mm -hmm. And that is the plus size ladies, you know. So after uh, being diagnosed with kidney failure, I couldn't go to work as usual. Uh, the pressure of designing, the pressure of the, the hours. So I felt it was that time that I needed to focus on what I wanted to do at my own pace. It allowed me to do certain things at a certain time. And like I said, I, I felt there was a strong need for me to tap into the, mind you, the plus size market isn't a market that I necessarily wanted to go into, mm, okay. but I was pulled in somehow. Mm. And I thought, here's a gap. Mm. Why not? I'm a plus size woman, so why not cater for them? Yeah. And now speaking about your, your, your designs and the work that you've done, um, what other work have you done now? You've worked with others. You mentioned other fashion brands and other designers before now moving on to become your own person, working under the other um, fashion brands. Who have you worked with in the work that you were doing there? I've worked under um, a lady called Masheru. I have worked for Evan Zulu as a conceptualist and uh, a designer. It was, it was a great experience um, learning um, how to uh, garment construction, learning how to bring a range together. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was really a, a time of learning for me and I enjoyed myself thoroughly there. But I must say, it's quite inspirational how you would, you know, diagnosed with kidney failure and then from there on, you got the willpower to start your own brand. Where did you get, I mean, the motivation, the willpower to continue? But apart from okay. continue working, now you're, you're on boss. Sure. Um, when you are faced with a certain situation or I could say a near-death experience, you get to realize what's important and you get to realize that time is something that we really don't have. And... I mean, I felt like I've been doing this for so long for so many people. Why not do me now? Because I wasn't guaranteed that I would still be alive for so. So I thought, go at it, do it. What do you have to lose? Yes, you know? definitely. And now with your work, um, you said you cater to plus size women. Yes. Is it only limited to plus size women, or maybe you also design for other figures? No, I, I, I design for all shapes and sizes. I design for both ladies and men. Mm. I design for your petite ladies, for your plus size, everybody. What would you call you now your design, your particular design? I know uh, some designers Shoot. have names for um, or a genre for the kind of clothes that they design. Shoot. What would you say your focus is on? I, I, I used to gravitate towards your tribal uh, prints, your African style, but I have moved from that and I, I wouldn't even know how what to prompted box. The move? What prompted the move though? Or is it not wanting to be put in one box and labeled? Yeah, I don't want to be boxed in because mm -hmm. uh, once you say this is the genre that I do, mm -hmm. you only limiting yourself or your designs to a particular group and like a particular clientele. Mm -hmm. So that I did not want. So I, I, I do your bridal wear. I do your day-to-day -day wear. I have your prints. Mm -hmm. I have your... Um, 
like a whole lot, corporate wear, bridal suits. I've just recently started tapping into that um, okay. market and basically I, I really design everything. Now, as a designer, Lerato, I mean, spring is coming up, summer's coming yes. up, the ladies are getting ready now to, you know, mm -hmm. pull all stops. Uh, winter, it's been rather cold and covering up. What are the must-have trends, would you say, first with accessories for, for ladies and for gents? And then also, what patterns are we looking at uh, for the spring fall? I mean, the spring, coming up spring in 2018. Color, 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 color. Okay. Color. So when Number. you say color, you mean bright. Bright. My God, it's been such a great season. Winter's over. Like, mm. we need to get into spring. Color, we're doing your lemons. We're doing your yellows. We're doing your turquoise. Uh, we're doing your mustard. That's like an end color right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And flowy silhouettes. Um, your, your very mesh, mesh is in. Okay. You know, layers of mesh. Your flowy mesh. Um... Gosh, beautiful, flowy dresses. All right, so now, Loretto, when people want to get a hold of you, where can they find you uh, to look at your, your, your designs and also to get a hold of you? Maybe someone is getting married and they're looking for a designer. Instagram, yes. the LH Collection. Facebook, the LH Collection. You can also call me on 072-556-3978. Okay, can you just repeat it again? 072-556-3978. Okay. WhatsApp, 071-185. Gosh, and my number just flew. 071-185-7513. <laughs> That's my WhatsApp number. Thank you so much, Lerato. Uh, but we will be coming back to you towards the end of the show because Lerato is going to show us some of her work and showcase some of the designs she's been working on for plus-size women.